currently as it stands, we spend around an average about $7,500 per patient um, yearly compared to the average of some of the developed countries that is around $3,500. Um, with that expectation, with those numbers, we would expect that we're paying more, so obviously we're getting a better care, quality of care. But the numbers actually show that we're actually ranked 37 in terms of the major quality indicators. Uh, having said that, we, want, we don't want to view this as, as a problem as much as an opportunity, and that's what our, where our program comes and plays an important role. Um, it is one of, of a handful of programs in the country that actually offer a full degree Master's of Engineering uh, degree uh, as a graduate degree program. It is a 30 credit program, and again, the goal is to fill up, uh, fill a gap uh, within the healthcare industry in terms of um, improving the efficiencies as we know that healthcare is becoming more and more uh, in the spotlight um, in terms of interest at a national level. What we're hoping to accomplish uh, through our program is to allow students to have all the necessary tools to try to, to look at or to think outside the box if you want to say, um, but look at these problems, look at the current and existing issues in healthcare from a different perspective. Knowing and understanding the available tools that they can actually use to help model, analyze, simulate at a lower cost than actually implementing and failing and failing fast, uh, but to actually do the simulation offline to be able to just look at a variety of different decisions and come up with this optimal decision that will increase um, the quality because we don't want to lose focus on quality, but it will also decrease cost. That will increase efficiency, but without losing the focus of safety. Um, all of those tools can be implemented and can be applied to the healthcare industry to improve efficiency, to improve quality, to, uh, to have uh, a better flow of, of patients through the uh, system, and to also manage um, uh, the processes and, and have a streamline of processes that are seamless to the patient, but yet uh, be able to deal with the complexities that are related to healthcare systems. Four courses are designed to introduce those uh, students to healthcare and the issues in healthcare finance, healthcare IT, um, introduce them to healthcare quality, and a general uh, introductory course about healthcare where we invite a number of guest speakers uh, from healthcare industry, the MDs, the nurses, uh, the administrative staff, quality staff, to come in and actually tell their story about their understanding of healthcare. Um, that is one aspect of the course curriculum, and the other aspect of it is actually uh, analytical tools. Um, and those are courses that fall under the industrial engineering department where one of the courses, for example, is, is uh, modeling or optimization, another one is simulation, and, and so on. So with a wide variety of courses also as electives including change management because that's going to play a big role. We try to bring all the different players within the healthcare industry to form a leadership team, a leadership council that will first and foremost be able to help us guide our students and guide our program to a successful graduate. Uh, that graduate can actually tackle uh, the, the healthcare reform issues and will be able to actually use some of the analytical skills that they've learned through the program at Lehigh to solve some of the major problems that, that are recognized and well known within healthcare. So the combination between Lehigh's success in industrial engineering and, and the researchers that we currently have at Lehigh Industrial Engineering Department with the current and existing researchers at these clinical sites and clinical partners, the combination of both is what's going to drive innovative ideas. It's going, it's going to create new ways of thinking about healthcare and healthcare reform. It is what's going to get us to a best practice and the best of the best of what is out there in terms of reform.